Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. So today's video is all about Jamaica. <laughs> I'm so excited because you guys know how much I love Jamaica. And today I'm going to bring to a beginner's a guide just for Jamaica. I'm going to share tips. I'm going to share fun facts just so you can be prepared for Jamaica. So when you come down, your trip is going to be so much more seamless and easier, and you can have more fun. <laughs> Who wouldn't like that? And even if you are not new to Jamaica. Maybe some of these fun facts and tips may be helpful to you. So make sure you stay tuned for these seven fun facts slash tips and let's get started. Okay, so let's get into these tips. So the first tip, a lot of people always ask, how much money should I bring to Jamaica now? <laughs> I'm not really gonna tell you a specific am amount, but what I can tell you is the amount of money that you are going to bring is going to vary based on if you're staying at a hotel, whether it's all inclusive or it's not, or you're staying outside of a hotel. So maybe at an Airbnb, a breakfast inn, a breakfast <laughs> breakfast in bed or if you're just staying at your house or a family member's house or a friend's house okay so the price is going to vary okay but what i can say is that so change enough money for food and taxi and when you come to jamaica you have to eat jamaican food i would recommend you eating food that they cook at the side of the road so what they would call street food as well buy the jerk chicken buy the soup buy the coconut the fruits everything so like bring enough cash i would say cash in your hand just for that extra food that you want to buy on the road the street food all that great stuff okay now a second thing is even if you're in a hotel some hotels in Jamaica They actually like if you book with that hotel, they'll have rides already paid for so basically it will come in with the amount that you pay for the hotel there will be buses and like cars that will bring you to attractions on the island that you can go to so you don't really have to worry about that since some hotels will offer taxi service and buses that go to these attack attractions in the area that you're staying in but you just have to pay a certain amount of fee so i'm going to recommend that you bring some cash just for that if you want to go to attractions outside the hotel because i know everyone goes to jamaica for a different thing some people go to jamaica just to relax and focus on their well-being and they just want to chill out they don't want to do nothing at all <laughs> and there's some people who want to go to jamaica let's go to the, all the attractions on the island and do everything so fun okay this is for people who aren't staying at hotels i wouldn't recommend you switching your money like you're changing your currency in the airport because you won't get as much as if you were to go somewhere else like the western union the money gram anywhere like that or the bank and switch your money in jamaica so okay that's a little tip if you're staying off resort i don't change all my money at once because it just helps me with portion control when it comes to changing my money and yeah, it helps you budget much more better if you don't change your money all at once. And who knows, maybe you're not even going to use all the money that you come down with, which I see people, they change all their money and they're like, wait, I didn't even use all this money. And then, because <laughs> if you're not staying at a hotel, you're going to need cash for like everything, okay? Speaking about money, the next thing is bring credit cards. Bring credit cards, bring your debit cards that have like the Visa debits on it or the MasterCard debits, like those type of cards. So bring that just for emergencies because a lot of places in Jamaica accept MasterCards and Visa debits, uh, Master De MasterCard debits, like those type of cards. You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? A lot of institutions down here take that. So maybe if you don't want to use cash right now, you can just put it on your credit card and you should be good. If you're buying at the gift shops, they'll take MasterCard as well. Um, if you're buying just out of regular food place or a fast food place on the island, bring up credit cards for emergencies. Trust me, I always make sure I bring my credit cards and my debit cards down here with me. Oh, another tip is if you don't stay on hotels and stuff like that, if you stay outside of a hotel, so at an Airbnb or like at someone's house or at your house, you can use your debit card that you have from like a Canada, America, UK, wherever you live. You can actually use that debit card and go to an ATM down here and pull out money. And your financial institution is just going to charge you like a $5 fee for doing that because it's an international transaction. So you can do that. And I've done that multiple times. Instead of me getting my money sent down here through like money grammar western union i use my debit card down here and it works well and that's what i do and help me a lot it's so much more easier and uh, trust me bring your cards just you don't have to bring all of them you can even just bring one card just for any emergencies and anything like that and just make sure you tell your credit card company that you're going to be outside of the island just so they don't lock your card <laughs> okay so another thing that someone commented on my video and asked me and i was just like oh my god it's just like it's always the basic things that i feel like people like me probably forget to just share with you guys but let me tell you guys the sockets in jamaica are the same as the sockets in the usa and canada i don't know what the correct term for the socket is but if you're wondering what type of sockets are used in jamaica it's the ones that you would see in canada and in america and where else uses these sockets i don't know so if you're coming from Europe and you're coming to Jamaica, just know that the sockets are 
different from some countries in Europe. If you have to buy adapters just for Jamaica, do that because we need our phones and all of that charged while we're down here. Make sure you guys do that, okay? So next thing is language. So in Jamaica, we speak English. That's the official language in Jamaica, of course. And the second official language is Spanish. And there's a few people down here that speak Spanish. I feel like not everyone knows how to speak Spanish, but let's be real. Our second official language is Patois. <laughs> And if you come down to Jamaica and you don't leave without knowing at least one word in Patois, come on. You have to come to Jamaica and leave knowing something, okay? So just speak English and you're good. Everyone will understand you. Everyone speaks back English as well. It's so simple. It's so easy. Simple as it sounds, what we use in Jamaica is called Jamaican dollars. So JMD, that's a short form. It'll be five Jamaican dollars, 10 Jamaican dollars. So if any touristy places take money, it's usually USD money, but I still wouldn't say to rely on your US money. I would say change your money to Jamaican currency. Okay, so the sixth tip. I shared this tip in probably almost mainly almost all of my Jamaican videos because these are essential and I say bring sunscreen Okay, because I wouldn't say it's necessary because even though I did get sunburn I still don't wear sunscreen and I'm still okay And a lot of people in Jamaica don't wear sunscreen and we're all still okay But that's something if you're someone who burns easily don't even think about forgetting your sunscreen That is necessary because Jamaica is so hot and I'm not over exaggerating like this country is so hot and I love it so much <laughs> I will never like I don't see myself living anywhere else like I love the heat no matter how hot it is Make sure you guys bring your sunscreen and bring a reusable water bottle and if you're someone who doesn't bring reusable water bottles just buy like water bottles down here like the plastic ones I wouldn't recommend because like it's so bad for our environment but you can buy those and just bring it everywhere with you but I would recommend bringing like a reusable water bottle and always having that filled and bring it everywhere with you because you know how it is in the sun can like drain you out so having that security of having that water bottle filled with water is so much better <laughs> and then you want to bring bug spray so bug spray is to get out mosquitoes just bring mosquito spray because there's mosquitoes like we're on a tropical island of course they're going to be mosquitoes if you're doing attractions during the day so you're doing zip lining you're hiking riding bikes in mud and stuff like that make sure you guys have your bug spray with you because you want to make sure that mosquitoes aren't biting you i'm such a nature person and a wildlife person that i need the bug spray okay i need the bug spray here and there not all the time for me but i need it here and there because these mosquitoes do not play around last tip for this video is for Jamaica make sure you guys have pre-made outfits so in a sense that I'm not saying like plan your, you can plan your outfits from now but what I'm saying is bring if you're a girl bring rompers and bring dresses those are easy pre-made outfits that you don't have to think about and I have a full video on what to bring to Jamaica so I'm not really gonna talk about this tip in depth if you guys want to know about what clothing and shoes that you should bring to Jamaica I'm going to link that video so you guys can watch that video it's so helpful but basically Basically, make sure you guys have pre-made outfits that's just something to keep in mind but that's all my tips for today oh my gosh I'm so excited so that's it for today's video comment down below some fun facts or tips that you think should be beneficial to someone that is a first-time comer to Jamaica or to someone who hasn't even came to Jamaica for a long time share that down below in the comments I'm willing to see myself because listen I'm always willing to learn anything Jamaica I want to know <laughs> like up this video subscribe to my channel if you, you have not yet because I do a lot more Jamaican based videos I share how to guides everything just for your trip in Jamaica so go over onto my channel and watch the watch those videos as well that's it for today's video I hope you have fun on your vacation to Jamaica and I'll see you in my next one au revoir bye but here's some more videos if you want to watch <laughs>